All right, well, uh, good afternoon and thank you for joining uh, the Mayor and I as we uh, gather here to uh, launch formally uh, the transport plan for Christchurch, uh, known as uh, an accessible city. Uh, and it is an augmentation of uh, the traffic plan that has existed in Christchurch to suit the way the which, in which we expect the new uh, city to develop. Uh, Mayor Dalzell and I have had a meeting this afternoon with all the councillors talking about a number of issues that we have uh, quite a strong common interest in uh, and it's uh, a great delight that we're able to uh, this afternoon announce a plan that has been put together by Sarah, by New Zealand Transport Agency and by the Christchurch City Council uh, to give people some certainty about how the traffic flow through the CBD uh, will progress. Uh, the draft chapter that we're releasing uh, for public uh, was released for public consultation uh, in 2012 and a large number of submissions were received. It's taken a, a little time to finalise it but we wanted to be sure that we had the very best solution and an implementation plan for the delivery of the, uh, the intended traffic flows. A highlight of the plan is the conversion of Kilmore Street and Salisbury Street from one-way streets to two-way streets. Transport analysis has concluded that retaining the other one-ways is recommended given their high traffic volumes, uh, but these will be enhanced with improved streetscapes and have lower speed limits within the inner city central zone. That brings us to the key change that has been made after significant consultation uh, with uh, many of the users of the transport system in the city as well as residents in Christchurch and that is the inclusion in the plan of a uniform 30 kilometres per hour environment within the CBD's new frames. This expect, this, uh, the expectation is that this will provide a safer uh, system and improved environment for the new central Christchurch. It's an environment that will facilitate greater use of cycles and of course encourage more pedestrian movement. But it's also fair to say that uh, in the next few years as the city rebuilds there will be significant uh, slow points anyway. So having a, a, a management or, or a traffic uh, maximum speed uh, that will see traffic volumes flow freely is I think very, very important. So uh, it has been, I think, a, a good process that we have embarked on uh, involving, as I said before, New Zealand Transport Agency, Sarah, uh, and the Christchurch City Council. And uh, in uh, launching this plan, I'm delighted to uh, invite the Mayor of Christchurch, Her Worship, the Honourable Leanne Dalzell, to make a few comments. Thank you, Minister. <laughs> um, I would like to uh, join with the Minister and, and, and welcome the uh, release of this plan. It has been long awaited. I think people have been really looking forward to it being released. Uh, we, when we conducted the Share an Idea campaign, which was a campaign based on the concept of co-creation, uh, if we were looking for words to describe what the people of Christchurch said uh, during Share an Idea, they said they wanted a city that was clean, green, safe, accessible and smart. And I think that with the release of the plan today, we can see that vision taking some reality. So uh, certainly my council colleagues and I are very pleased to be able to be associated with the launch of the plan today and uh, look forward to our role in its implementation.